Well, hi guys. Coming to you from my home today. <clears throat> the kids have left and uh, taken our vehicle down to the down to the uh, shop to have it worked on. And uh, so we'll see <laughs> what comes of that today. <clears throat> Looks like it's going to rain. We've had mostly uh, clear skies today. It's been nice. Actually, it's been uh, started out in the 30s. And it's gotten up to uh, about 52 right now. And there's a good chance of rain coming in. So we'll see what comes of that through the day. But I wonder what time it is right now. Uh, I don't have a clock in this room. <laughs> I need to get out. You know, out there, we got a, there's a lot of stuff we haven't unpacked yet. When we moved here, uh, we just got moved in. I mean, got our stuff moved here. And started putting together our, our uh, Rebecca and, and uh, Austin. They sold their place down in Arkansas, so they moved up here to find a spot. So they moved in with us and uh, got all their stuff in their garage and packed in above their, and in all of our stuff. So we got a garage full of, of everything, and uh, they've got two. <laughs> they've got two uh, storage units full of stuff. And uh, they're in the process now. They went up north to try to, to actually to buy the property today. They're getting the, uh, all the paperwork done and all that. So they'll be, I figure they'll be back here about any time. I thought, you know, I need to do this and put a video together. I've got uh, references here I worked on uh, for Ephesians 1 verse 9. And I thought, you know, I need to get that done. I'm enjoying doing these. There's so much excitement in this when you get to read them and and realizing this is wrote for you and I. <laughs> Paul's letters is made for you and I. Those in religion can't see it. They read it, but they don't understand it. They try to mix it in with everything else, and uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> it messes up. Isn't that something? And only those in the body of Christ can understand what Paul's saying to really understand it and, and to keep it separate from the rest of, the, of all the scriptures is important. It's how we learn. We learn together, uh, connected together. You know, I, I'm connected with, with several people uh, in the WhatsApp group and on through emails and telephone calls. There's a lot that's not in the WhatsApp group. I think there's uh, 30 or above, 30, 35, somewhere in there in the group. But, you know, we've got, there's people all over the world that, that we talk to. And it's just neat, you know. This <laughs> Who would have thought this old country boy uh, would be doing this? You know, I, it never crossed my mind. But here in Ephesians 1, let me get my, right here, on this side of this. <clears throat> Get this in context, right? Ephesians 1 9. We'll read this in context and see what it and then uh because Paul likes to he likes to run on sentences, right? So I get down to the verse to end of verse 9 and 10. Well let's see. Let this starts out in verse 3, right? Ephesians 1. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who blesses us with every spiritual blessing among the celestials in Christ, according as He chooses us in Him before the disruption of the world, we to be holy and flawless in His sight, in love designating us beforehand for the place of a Son for Him through Christ Jesus, in accord with the delight of His will. God wanted a family. He wanted a family. And he chose us in him before the disruption of the world. Wow, for the place of a son. For the laud of the glory of his grace, which he graces us in the beloved, in whom we are having the deliverance through his blood, the forgiveness of offenses, in accord with the riches of his grace, which he lavishes on us, in all wisdom and prudence, making known to us the secret of his will, 
in accord with his delight which he purposed in him. Wow, that's verse 9. To have an administration in the confidence of the heirs, to head up all in the Christ, both that in the heavens and that on the earth, in him in whom our lot was cast also. Our lot was cast in him. Wow. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. See? So these references, this is the references to it, all right, to verse 9, which was making known to us a secret of his will in accord with his delight, which he purposed in him. Now to him who is able to establish you in the core with my evangel and the heralding of Christ Jesus in the core of the revelation of a secret hushed in times eonian, yet manifested now and through prophetic scriptures according to the injunction of the eonian God being made known to all nations for faith obedience to the only and wise God through Christ Jesus be glory for the eons of the eons. Amen. That's Romans 16, verse 25, 26, and 27. Yet to us, <laughs> God reveals him through his Spirit. For the Spirit is searching all, even the depths of God. For is any of humanity acquainted with that which is human, except the Spirit of humanity which is in it? Thus also, that which is of God, no one knows except the Spirit of God. Now, we obtained not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we may be perceiving that which is being graciously given to us by God. 1 Corinthians 2, 10 through 12. Religion can't see this. How blessed we are to know this. You know, we've been given this, this, this gift, this massive gift of of understanding Paul's letters he wrote for us today. For I am making known to you, brethren, as to the evangel which is being brought by me, that it is not in accord with man, for neither did I accept it from a man, nor was I taught it, but it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. Galatians 1, 11 and 12. To unveil his Son in me, that I may be evangelizing him among the nations. I did not immediately submit it to flesh and blood. That's Paul. That's Galatians 1.16. Therefore, I also, on the hearing of this faith of yours in the Lord Jesus, and that for all the saints, do not cease giving thanks for you. Wow. Making mention of you in my prayers that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may be giving you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the realization of him. The eyes of your heart having been enlightened for you to perceive what is the expectation of his calling and what the riches of the glory of the enjoyment of his allotment among the saints and what the transcendent greatness of his power for us who are believing in accord with the operation and the might of his strength. It's Ephesians 1, 15 through 19. Wow. For by revelation the secret is made known to me, according as I write before and brief, by which you who are able to apprehend my understanding in the secret of the Christ, which in other generations is not made known to the sons of humanity, as it was now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets. In spirit, the nations are to be joint enjoyers of an allotment and a joint body and joint partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the evangel of which I became the dispenser. You know, we not we did. In accord with the gratuity of the grace of God, which is granted to me in accord with his powerful operation. To me, unless the least of all saints was granted this grace to bring the evangel of the untraceable riches of Christ to the nations. And to enlighten all as to what the administration of the secret which has been concealed from the eons in God, in God who creates all. Ephesians 3, 3 through 9. Wow, man, I'm having a hard time seeing. 
the secret oh this secret is great <laughs> it's awesome the secret which has been concealed from the eons and from the generations yet now was made manifest to his saints to whom god wills to make known what are the glorious riches of this secret among the nations which is christ among you the expectation of glory whom we are announcing admonishing every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we should be presenting every man mature in Christ Jesus. That's Colossians 1, 26 and 28. And avowedly great is the secret of devoutness, which was manifested in flesh and justified in spirit, seen by messengers, heralded among the nations, and believed in the world and taken up in glory. You know, that was Christ, but that's, that will be us. We'll be taken up in glory. 1 Timothy 3.16 To love, I mean, I'm sorry, in love designating us beforehand for the place of his son, for him, <laughs> through Christ Jesus, in the core of the delight of his will. Ephesians 1.5 Now, we are aware that God is working all together for the good of those who are loving God. Who are called according to the purpose that whom he foreknew he designates beforehand also to be conformed to his to the image of his son for him to be firstborn among many brethren romans 8 28 and 29 in him in whom our lot was cast also being designated beforehand according to the purpose of the one who is operating all in accord with the counsel of his will <laughs> Ephesians 1.11 In the core of the purpose of the eons which he makes in Christ Jesus our Lord in Ephesians 3.11 who saves us and calls us with a holy calling not in accord with our acts but in accord with his own purpose and the grace which is given us in Christ Jesus before time the union yet now being manifested through the advent of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who indeed abolishes death, yet eliminates life and, and in corruption through the evangel of which I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher of the nations. 2 Timothy 1, 9 through 11. And those are the references I found for Ephesians 1, 9. Man, there's so much in those. Isn't that amazing stuff to see? Man. Oh. Yep, yeah, that's uh that's good stuff. I get <laughs> I'm sorry guys. It, it, this stuff is so so powerful. To have a loving father that that chose it. I mean we were just chosen out of a it was a uh, in the slot. It's, it's, he chose us. It was a lottery type thing. Just all right, he picked us up out of the whole way. He chose us in him. Before he done any of it, before the foundations of the world, before the, the disruption, before sin and death entered, we were chosen before that for such a thing as this. And as Christ is ahead to bring all creation back to our Father because of love. You know, Scripture tells us to be pursuing love. Everything else goes away, but love remains. And when God is all in all, love will be all in all. There'll be no need for rulers and authorities and powers. It's all been done. You know, Christ took care of all that. And when all comes back to him, then nothing remains but love. All that remains is love. And that's God. He's got it all. He got it all figured out. We relish in this stuff. We we I'm excited and it's encouraging to get into these scriptures. Wow, man, there's so much in there. <laughs> you know, what can we do? Just read it and believe it. Read it and believe it. We don't add anything to Scripture. You know, it's not my place to do that. That was Paul's place. Paul wrote it because God inspired him to do it. He, wasn't, he didn't inspire me to write it. He don't inspire me to add to it. I can't add to anything. It's all God. It's all Him. It's all through Him and for Him and to Him. Anyway, I'm 50, almost 15 minutes into this. It is 15. 
anyway, <laughs> I get this put together and get, I'll put these references down below the video, down in the more section. And y'all can write them down and write them out. Get them and make you a, a notebook and write them in there and you'll have all these references along with the scriptures down under it and you can flip through it and it's, it's neat to have. It's just really neat to have. So, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> We're pursuing love. We're pursuing God. Nothing new under the sun, under the earth, under the sun was said in, in uh, Ecclesiastes. Nothing new under the sun. Yet, here we are, a new creation. We have both God's spirit and Christ's spirit in us. Not everyone has that, but the body of Christ does. We are a new creation. Anyway, grace and peace to you all. I love you guys. Look forward to seeing you again. I'm going to do a live stream one of these days, but we'll get we'll get these youngins out so we'll have more time. So then we can chit chat and get to know each other a little better, right? So I'll let you all go in grace and peace to all of you. And thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> I do appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. Go see what God's got for us. Y'all ready? I think I am. Grace and peace and much love to all of you. See you next time.